Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're comparing the Airday Sling 3 Max with the Airday Sling 3. So, let's dive in. All right, so kicking it off, there's not honestly a lot of difference between these two slings besides the size. I personally like the Air Day Sling 3 better than the Air Day Sling 3 Max. I think the expression of the design and the layout works a little bit better in this smaller size than it does in the Max. So I'm just gonna throw that out there right away, but let's dive in and check out the differences between both of these slings. So kicking it off, the construction is a little bit better. It almost looked like, looks like they kind of like, just sort of like scaled the max up a little bit more and like just tweaked the proportions. Um, so we have a YKK number 10 AquaGuard zipper going across both of these here. And it's very similar layout. So if you open this, open this, you have all this space at the bottom here. And you have a key clip, same here. You got a key clip. Boom. Let's see if one's longer than the other. They look pretty much similar length too, if you're looking at them. Um, they're mounted at the top. Maybe the Airdaysling Air Day Sling 3 Max is a little bit longer of a key clip. More pocket space inside of the Max. Less pocket space inside of the Ordinary. Shouldn't be a surprise there. That's going to be the theme here. That this one's, they're like exactly the same pretty much, but this one's bigger. All right, so that covers that pocket. Um, let's go back and talk about the outside a little bit. I mean, if you're looking at, we have detailed reviews on both of these. We're not going to dive into like every single little detail, but I'll cover just the differences in this video. <clears throat> Try to make it as quick as possible. These fit locks look similar, but on the Air Day Sling 3 Max, it looks to be maybe a little bit bigger, maybe not. If you compare them, I can't really quite tell, but pretty much the same fit lock is being used between these two. Similar strap, similar hardware for adjustment. The one thing we noticed is the, the difference in the handle here. So I appreciate that with the Max, you've got padding. It's like kind of a seat belt feel. It's more like the handle, the type of handle you'd see on one of Air's travel packs or one of their backpacks. Whereas on the Day Sling 3, it's a thin nylon uh, strip here, like some webbing. So I do appreciate that difference. I don't necessarily know if you need that extra padding for the max. How, uh, your mileage may vary, but I just, I don't really think you need it. And overall, when I was testing this, I hardly ever carried it by this back handle either. I was mostly either just carrying it like this or holding it. And then Eric tested this, so check out his review. He'll have more to say about it. Both have these loops here. If you want to hang the bag up on a hook or to the side of your backpack or with the, uh, on the table with like a hero clip or something like that, um, and then, yeah, the back pockets are similar too. So we have like Hypalon zipper pull on the back of both of these, which is nice. They hide nicely under the fabric gussets. If we open it up, you can see the leader space inside of the Day Sling 3. You can see the leader space inside of the Day Sling 3 Max. Surprise, surprise, there's more space inside of the Max. Same pocket though, just get bigger space. All right, zipping that back up. Um, both of these have a triangular shape, so they can stand up on their own when they're filled up, which is great. Um, the Max's is a little bit taller, so you just got to make sure that it's filled up correctly for it to stand up. The Day Sling 3 regular is a little bit shorter, so I feel like it's a little bit easier to stand up on its own when there's stuff inside of it. All right, let's move on to the main compartment here, and this is kind of where you really start to notice the difference in size. So again, ample space inside of the Max, a little bit smaller space inside of the Ordinary Day Sling 3. We have mesh pockets down here at the bottom that are a little bit taller in the Max than they are inside of the Day Sling 3 Ordinary. Mesh pockets on the back as well. Mesh pocket, two mesh pockets on the back as well zippered pocket that opens up and then we have a sleeve here in the back 
zippered pocket that opens up, and we have a sleeve here in the back. So very similar layouts between both of these. Now, the one thing I'll note is that this kind of feels a little bit sloppier in the Max, just because there's like more of a space. This area can fit up to an 11 inch iPad. We don't have an 11 inch iPad, but we have, I believe this is a nine inch. So that fits inside of here with relative ease. And 11 inch will, will fit in there too, according to the marketing copy. We unfortunately don't have one of those to test it. Um, but if you're carrying a tablet, this is great, but even still it's kind of, what I kind of have problems with with the Max is like, what are you doing with this space up here at the top? It seems kind of like wasted space because if we flip these, because the pockets are down here, right? So if you have like tech stuff at the bottom here and then you got some items down here, I mean, I guess you can stuff like a jacket in here, but I don't know if you want like a jacket on top of your gear. Um, you know, I just, I don't know how you utilize this top space with it. Let's flip these inside out and we can take a look at some of the structural differences. Again, I'd be very curious to see what design came first because I think some sizes just hold the design better than other sizes. And again, I, I like this small one a little bit better. But you do have more space with this, but if you're carrying like a camera or something, I mean, maybe you'd want to go like Peak Design because they just have things a little bit more set up, right, for camera carry or go with like a, a day pack if you want more space, again, totally up to you. I feel like I'm inserting a lot of my opinion in this review. So I'm gonna try to like stay, I'll try to stay objective for the rest of it. So if you look at the sizes of the mesh, mesh pockets, we have this back here. Um, it is a little bit taller on the Max, so you do have a little bit more space to put in bigger things if you want. And again, once we get to this top portion, you've got like this, you've got a little, like a little, you don't wanna like go above. So if I grab this passport, that fits in there nicely, right? But you don't really necessarily want something that's gonna be tall and go above this inside of these pockets because you're gonna block this zipper right here. However, um, so if you don't wanna go above that, then what are you really doing with this space in the top? If we look at the back, it's kind of a similar story. Mesh pockets are a little bit shorter on the Daysling 3, taller on the Daysling 3 Max if we just wanna compare. That covers pretty much that much of the Passport. And then on the Daysling 3, covers that much. So you can still put it in there, but it's maxed out to the top. But again, you have all this extra space on the top, right? So what, I don't really know, you know, how you're gonna like maximize that. Um, but then you have some examples of how it's packed out over on their site. And of course, Eric is gonna have a full review of this thing as well. So let me just flip this back the way it was. And there you have it, our comparison of the Air Day Sling 3 and the Air Day Sling 3 Max. Thank you for keeping me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we will see you in the next video.